Hey, good morning, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL. David here. Uh, road to 3K, as everybody knows. Uh, click subscribe to the channel. Click the uh, like button. Share it to all your media outlets. And have a blast on my channel. Uh, if you could tell, I'm in kind of like a somber mood. Reason being, because i got to talk about something that I never, ever thought I would talk about. Sure didn't. I didn't see it coming. And uh, I don't know how long this premiere is going to be, but I'm going to try to get it out, even though it's been tough to talk about. Uh, you know, everybody knows the Super Bowl is here. The Kansas City Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. And uh, NFC South is represented in the Super Bowl. Man, I'm telling you, uh, out of all the teams that could have possibly have made the Super Bowl. It is this team, the team that I hate the most. The New Orleans Saints. I mean, to eat your words is very humbling. You know, because the New Orleans Saints, as you know, I, I mean, I can't even call them the Pudats anymore. I can't call them the Pudats anymore because they proved me wrong so far. They won a Super Bowl in 2009. I can't talk about that anymore. I can't say that they cheated. I can't say that the New Orleans Saints uh, paid players to cheap shot quarterbacks and, and top players to win. I can't. They're Super Bowl champions. A Super Bowl ring that'll live in infamy. That'll live forever. I can't say anything else about it. I can't say anything about three straight years of making the playoffs after winning the division. Because this year, the Saints won the division. The Saints blitzed through the division. Just to, just beat us up. Beat everybody up. Panthers, Bucks, Falcons. Just destroyed us. Their, their fan base was on here trying to tell me. I wouldn't listen. Saints fans were on here. We're going to win the Super Bowl. Drew Brees is going to go out on top. And I'll be damned. He's got he's got an opportunity to do it now. He's got a Drew Brees has an opportunity to ride off into the sunset on that white horse holding the Super Bowl championship while beating the Kansas City Chiefs. Hmm. And uh, that hurts. You know, Saints fans. Every live stream that I did all year uh, with the Falcons, here they are, rolling up in my comments and laughing like crazy. Who dat? Who dat? Who dat? 28 to 3, who dat, who dat? Sean Payton, who dat, who dat? Breeze, who dat, who dat? Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, who dat, who dat, who dat? Ain't nobody gonna go into the soup Mercedes Benz, who dat? And beat us, who dat, who dat? In the playoffs, we're just gonna steamroll everybody. They beat the Bears. They steamrolled through the playoffs, man. They, they beat the Bears, they beat the Bucks. Now they're in the Super Bowl. The New Orleans Saints are in the Super Bowl with the chance for their second. Super Bowl championship. You know? Saints fans still coming in my comments. Talking Super Bowl championship this year. I told you, Slitter. I told you, who dat, who dat, who dat. They're relentless, even still to this day. They got such a loyal fan base. They got such... You know, and I apologize that I even call them bandwagons. Because they're still in my comments. The Saints fans are still doing videos talking about their uh, the upcoming Super Bowl in two weeks against the Chiefs. You know, no, they're not doing any imitation videos. You know, you know, no, they're not doing any drama streams. No, they're not doing any nothing. They're all over the place. New Orleans Saints video makers are all over the place. Who dat, who dat, just living it up because they know they're one win away from their second Super Bowl championship. And I got to live with that. Man, that sucks. Drew Brees is the GOAT. Great, you know, awesome, great quarterback. And I said it before, I, to me he's the GOAT. Makes no mistakes. Drew Brees makes no mistakes. He goes into the playoffs, lays the dimes in, just keeps rolling and winning. Got to give it to him. Drew Brees, kudos, man. Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas. Uh, everybody on their defense, brutal. W what a defense, man. The Saints have probably the best defense in the league. They do. They say how they blitz through the Bears 
And then how they just blitzed through everybody else. They just blasted Tampa Bay, man. I mean, the Saints, defense, just harassed Tom Brady all over the place. That Tom Brady didn't know what hit him. You know, and to see the Saints celebrate on the field, you know, against the Green Bay Packers, the Saints going into Lambeau Field and just laying waste to Aaron Rodgers. That that was tough to watch. That was extremely tough to watch. Um, like I said, like I said, I'm trying to get through this video. It's not it's not the easiest thing to do to admit fault. The New Orleans Saints, man, they are the best team in the NFC. Best team clearly in the NFC South. Can't nobody touch them. Who that? Who that? I gotta say, who that? Who that? And what else can be said? You know, New Orleans Saints are one win away from a Super Bowl championship. Again, something that us Atlanta Falcon fans are going to have to stomach. Twice. You know, it was bad enough the first time, but like I said, the last four years, Saints fans have come on and done videos laughing at the Falcons, talking about how they're going to win a Super Bowl, and they failed for three straight years. You know, the Vikings and the Rams. Humiliated. But the Saints know how to bounce back. That That is... This is the winning franchise. This is what a superior franchise looks like. They, The Saints fans on YouTube just looked at my channel, looked at me in the face, told me how they felt, and then shoved it right down my throat. Because they went into these playoffs and just dominated. That's why the Saints are NFC champions. That's why they're going to play Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. That's why New Orleans Saints have a chance to win the Super Bowl. Again. It's tough, man. Like I said, it's not the easiest thing to do. You know, I mean, I'm trying not to make this premiere too long because, you know, like I said, I don't want to drag this out because it's extremely painful that i got to sit here for two weeks and listen to poo daps on video, do nothing but make sports videos and, and and laughing at the Falcons and bragging. You know, I'm waiting for the poo to start talking videos, start making videos about the Kansas City Chiefs, guys. Because, hey, you guys better start focusing on the Chiefs, man. Seriously. Saints better start focusing on the Chiefs. Drew Brees, you know, uh, Cameron Jordan, whoever else you got on defense. You, you got Taysom Hill. Man, y'all better be ready for the Chiefs, man. I'm telling you, Saints fans, Saints, you got my respect. You have my respect. Nothing but love and respect for you guys. You guys proved me wrong. That's all, that's all I ever asked Saints fans was prove me wrong. And you did it. All the talking that y'all did all year, when the Falcons were about ready to blow another game, all of a sudden my views go from 60 to 110. Pudat fans just rolling up in my chat. I got to give a shout out to y'all. Joshua Gus, Mr. Hudat, Saints fan, 44, Monet, Giggles. Who else have I missed? JP. Chaotic. Still blowing up my streams. Still blowing up my chats. Just rubbing it in. And I can't do nothing about it but take it. Because your team backed up your words. When y'all come in and laugh at me for lo for losing and coming in. Uh, uh, every every game I heard Saints fans. Choke, 28-3. Losers, we swept y'all. We own you. Yeah, you do. And you own the NFC apparently too. Because your team backed your words up. And like I said, I, every stream that I do now, I still see you Pudat fans in, in my chat laughing. Laughing at me and bragging about going to another Super Bowl. Super Bowl, baby. Again, I'm not making fun of you. I, I'm being real. I'm, I'm humbling myself and admitting it. The New Orleans Saints are headed to the Super Bowl. So with that said, like I said, I got things to do today. I don't have time. You know, I, want, I, I had to muster up some time to be able to come on here and do this. Uh, because it, it just hurts so much. It hurts so much to see the New Orleans Saints in the Super Bowl again. So I'm going to go in and give you my prediction. New Orleans Saints versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Drew Brees, Pat Mahomes. My pick to win the Super Bowl is the New Orleans Saints. The New Orleans Saints will win their second Super Bowl, their fourth straight NFC South Division Championship, they're 6-0 against the NFC South. Their thorough domination in the playoffs. The backing of all their fans all year long, rubbing it in on my page, saying that we suck and they're going to win a Super Bowl again. Drew Brees is going to go out on top. This is for y'all. Y'all are going to get exactly 
what you deserve. You're experiencing right now exactly what you deserve. Winning. Because y'all are winners. So the New Orleans Saints will win a Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs in two weeks. And it's going to crush me in the city of Atlanta to have to witness that. So for all you Saints fans out there who have been, you know, respectful to my channel and trolling my channel, I'm going to buy each and every one of y'all a Super Bowl championship jersey. That's a lot of y'all. Because that's how much I respect y'all. Because you guys did it. You guys are about ready to win another Super Bowl and laugh in our faces. So, with that said, the New Orleans Saints will be Super Bowl champions in two weeks. They'll be partying up on Bourbon Street, the French Quarters. So, I only got a few words to say for you. And I mean them sincerely. Who that, baby? For life.